Today we're talking about the letter E. We start off with our wood pieces. I'm not going to be able to hold them up because it's going to be too hard, but I wanted you to look at the way the letter E is formed. We know that we always start at the top with a straight line down, just like that. You can use your pointer finger if you'd like. You can make the letter E in the sky. And then we go back to the top with a little line. And then we go in the middle. I'll show you another wood piece. And then we end with the line at the bottom. It looks very similar to the F like that we worked on last week, but there's just one more line, short line there. So uppercase E. Let's look at our chart. Eddie the Eagle has excellent eyes. Everyone envies how high he flies. Do you know what envies means? It means that someone has something that you really want. So when you envy his how high he flies, that means you really want to fly high. So Eddie the Eagle, we talk about how pictures help us with reading. So Eagle and Eagle has excellent eyes. Everyone envies how high he flies, and there he is. Remember, whenever we start our letters, we always start at the top. So we're gonna go ahead and make a straight line down. Remember, we did that with the F, didn't we? Then we're just gonna make a short line across, and then another one in the middle, and then another one at the end to make uppercase E. Let's do a couple more. Start at the top, long line, then a short line at the top, then middle, and at the end. Like I said, it's very similar to F, except we have one more line at the end. Let's make one more uppercase E. Straight line down, short line, one in the middle, and then one at the end. Remember, whenever we're practicing writing, we can make mistakes, right? That's how we learn. Now, when we talk about lowercase E, it looks different, doesn't it? Lowercase E. So we're gonna start here in the middle. We're gonna make a line, curve, and finish like that. So you're gonna make a short line, curve, and then stop right there. That's gonna take some practice, so you can work and do your best always, right? So we're just gonna do a straight line, go up like a hook, and then curve. Lower KC. Spend some time with mom and dad looking at the chart to find out what are some items that have the E sound. Now, E is our first vowel, so, and you're gonna learn this as you get older. It has two sounds. It has eh, like an elephant, and E, like an eagle. And like I said, you'll learn more about that as you get older. Short E and long E. But again, we're not gonna get too much into that, but we know that eagle says E, and eh, eh, elephant says the eh sound. So you can look at the picture and find out what has those sounds.